Hey YouTube, I just wanted to show off my recent project here. Um, I got this uh, 1983 RCA uh, rear projection TV. It's a 45 inch rear projection TV that um, came with the original manual and the remote. Um, and I think it's just stunning. Um, it's got large speakers down below. You can see in this part here, it's all fabric. And there's actually woofers and tweeters in there. So really good sound system. And this is like a, like a polished aluminum or stainless steel. But it's got like kind of a chrome effect to it. Um, it's got the front panel buttons right here on the side in this piano gloss finish. And then the RCA logo here. And this is all uh, anodized aluminum, but it's also a piano finish. And behind the cover, you've got your all your picture controls. And then behind this cover are all the convergence controls. And there's some instructions on the side here. Um, now, <laughs> it's a huge TV to take on. I, I can't imagine what the weight was. It must have been 300 pounds or more. It took three people to get this thing into the house. And... <laughs> You know, what What do I do with it? I, I needed to save it. I needed to save it from the dump. Um, but the picture was bad. Um, you know, I worked on it for a while, I, taking it all apart, cleaning all the lenses, uh, converging it, focusing it, doing everything I could to get it as best as I possibly could. And I did make improvements to it, definitely. Um, but it uh, ultimately, it had a very dim, a very out of focus uh, picture. Um, and when looking at the guns, um, you know, you could see that it had been worn quite a bit. So really it wasn't gonna get much better. So I started thinking, what am I gonna do with this thing? I really want to enjoy it. I really want to enjoy this TV as it looks, you know, but, but still have a, a good picture, you know, for watching my VHS and Laserdisc, you know, my four, four, three aspect ratio sources. Um, so I started thinking, you know, people are always getting rid of, just getting rid of them for free, uh, the LCD and DLP rear projection TVs because they're big and, you know, oh, I just want to get this thing out of the house. But, but those DLP and LCD rear projection TVs look fantastic they really do they're high definition you got all the ports you got uh hdmi you got um uh, component composite s video everything you want and all the picture controls and everything like that so um what i was thinking was well what if i take it down take one of those get it for free take it down to the chassis and try to shove it inside of here and see how that goes and that's exactly what i did um so this, this is actually a, uh, uh, I think it's a KDS uh, 46A2000. Don't quote me on that, but it's a, it was a 46 inch, um, so 16.9 uh, LCD rear projection TV from Sony, the chassis that I took apart. I got it all down to just the yeah, just, just the electronics, the lens and everything like that. And I wish I could show you actually, uh, actually, this is how you take the screen out of this TV is there's some screws in here and you pull this part out a little bit and this whole screen slides slightly and you can take it right out. And then that's why you can get in and clean the mirrors and everything like that. But luckily, uh, I have the rear off of it still. So you can see inside. So Take a look at the back cover here. This all used to be occupied by a large CRT gun assembly and everything. And the lenses were here and there were uh, there was another mirror. But if you look here, here is the Sony chassis. Now I'm not done here. I gotta pipe this, uh, this fan out to the rear and I've gotta bring these rear panel controls out to here and make this all fit and finished and, and, and everything like that. But for right now, this is how it is. Uh, I built a frame here just out of two by fours and it's attached to the bottom and I've got these adjustable bolts here so I could bring this thing into exactly the right geometry and, and height and everything. Um, 
and I've got to mount these these crossovers. This is for the speakers. This is what's driving the woofers and tweeters. I got two of them here. So this is what it looks like from the rear. And I've got uh, you know laser disc and VHS here. Um, all the front panel buttons work. I hooked them all up. Well, not all of them. I've got uh, power. Uh, volume up and down and then your auxiliary changes the input but we'll go ahead and turn it on you can hear it turn on here it's pretty bright in the room right now so I'm just gonna not that this isn't bright but I think it will show up better on camera so right now I've just got the original Sony remote for the TV I want to get Sony a Sony TV remote small enough to get into the guts of the original remote control so it looks all completely stock. We're just waiting for the uh, Chromecast to boot up here. Just take a look at this picture here. What's a good example here? I don't know if I have a laser disc in here. Let's see. Actually, you don't have a tape in. You know, I. Uh, yeah, I don't think that disc is in there either, okay? Um, no, actually, maybe it is. Let's, let's just see here. So I'll use the front panel button here to change the source. Now, you'll see that it's being cut off. For anything that's not a 4.3 source, um, the sides are being cropped off, right? Because this was widescreen, but that's okay. When watching uh, four three sources, it's the perfect shape. I'll go ahead and press play on there, and you can see how this looks. It's it's unbelievable. It looks great. There's a lot of glare here. I do most of the movie watching in the evening anyway. I don't want to get this. Turn the volume up here. Just tell them you'll accept the charges. There it is. I don't want to get this video taken down because of the audio or anything like that, but the sound works and it's fantastic. It's very powerful. Uh, I'm lucky that the original Sony chassis was able to power this, but it's just they're just 10 watt speakers, so but still in this enclosure with those speakers, it's very powerful. Um, and when you use different effects, um, See if I go in here. I've actually got uh, the surround mode turned on. So these this old TV with this uh, these original stereo speakers have the you know the benefit of all these uh, this audio tweaking here uh, with the surround mode, which just you know it's just a better effect in this case. I'm not always a big fan of that surround, but in this case it works out really well. Um, yeah, and all the picture controls, the uh, advanced iris built in, you know, and this is, this is HD. Now this is a 720 HD, uh, 720p television, but that's okay because, um, that's higher than the resolution of the source material I'm feeding it. So, so it just, it looks amazing. And I can just sit back here on the couch with my old 1983 TV and, it just looks amazing and this is really not doing it justice and like I said when when I am um, uh, when it's a bit darker in here um, it, it just it's it's very vivid the color is excellent and yeah I don't know if I can how close I can get in here so you can actually see the pixels see you can actually see the pixels so it's it's very focused right so it's um, yeah, one thing I need to mention too is it's not the original screen. I actually took the screen out of the, the Sony TV and I had to cut it to size, uh, score it and snap it, the Fresnel lens and then the black kind of tinted piece at the front. And, uh, and yeah, because I tried to use the original, I tried to use the original uh, screen and it just, uh, uh, gave a, a funny pattern to it because the way the pixels lined up with the vertical lines on the screen. So, but yeah, this is this is my project. It's uh, 
I think one of a kind. I don't know if anybody's done this before, but uh, I'm looking forward to finishing the back part and, uh, and getting it completely done. It's way lighter than it used to be. It shouldn't take three people to lift anymore. The stuff that I took out of it, the large transformer and the, the that big chassis and the guns and everything like that were just like crazy heavy in the mirror and everything like that. Uh, and I don't, I don't know if you noticed, but it is on casters too. So you can roll this thing around and everything. I mean, ultimately I'd like to be able to move this like when we move to a different house and put it in a different setting and, and, and stuff, you know, put it up by a nice brick, uh, nice brick fireplace with some shelving full of my VHS tapes and laser discs. And yeah, so it's just, just wanted to show you, uh, proud of it. Uh, don't know if anybody cares, but, uh, <laughs> that's, that's my, that's my TV.